Daybreak Maniacs, welcome back to another special edition of the Sit Rep. We've been doing these kind of on Wednesdays or Tuesdays, I suppose, ahead of uh, these Project Ukraine launches. So we've got another check in here to kind of go over the collection. We've got a new one dropping uh, starting tomorrow on pre order, as well as just kind of filling in the backlog of the other things and then just providing some updates on exactly what we're doing here. I'd say it's safe to say this is the largest micro brick battle piece that's ever been created, right? <laughs> yeah, so far. So the only thing that we can make bigger would be a ship. We yeah, have, there you we go. Have, we haven't done any ships on the scale yet. Yes, but the AN-225 is kind of the the, uh, the showcase piece for this segment. Yes, yeah, this was, this was uh, you know, when we we heard that the the, the original, the real AN-225 mm -hmm. was destroyed um, by the Russians, we were like, well, let's, that'd be really cool to do a, a kit of it. And we didn't think we'd actually do it. It was more like, hey, this is an idea. And then, yeah, right. and then it just sort of gained momentum, just like this whole thing has just gained momentum on its own. So um, here it is, it's a kit. Um, it's... It, this is the prototype. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say is like, you know, the actual kit has something like 144, 144, yeah, 144 right. printed elements. It'll have these really awesome blue and, and, and yellow stripes down the side of it. Um, they're working on that now. Hopefully by mm -hmm. the time we drop this, we'll have the renders with showing all the different printing, printing on it. It's, it's amazing. The whole Tomorrow side morning, side. by the way, 8 a.m. Yeah. with the digital instructions. That's right. when this will be on pre-order. <laughs> the whole side of this aircraft is like one big swoosh. Yeah. And then there's swooshes all over the engines and the, and the, mm -hmm. the stabilizers and everything. So um, this is something, I actually had a little bit of time to put this together. Usually it, it, it's been kind of a hectic last couple months here. Um, different things happening all of a sudden. The the invasion of Ukraine sort of like making us drop everything and, and like, hey, let's let's shift gears and, and, and do some benefit releases. Mm -hmm. This is another one, but I actually um, had a little bit more time thanks to, to Nate jumping in with this. With the T sixty four, yeah, T sixty four. Uh, I had some more time to work on this, and I planned. So I was actually able to put a lot of features in that I didn't think I'd have. Very time cool. To do. So um, it is. This is quite a big plane. Uh, I can, I'll pull it off the stand. This stand is the stand, the same stand that the, the Ghost has. Yeah. Wow. Um, so this was designed by Cody. And you were Davis saying these ago. two are the ones that are in scale, right? Yeah. Just to give you a little bit of a, of a perspective there right. on how that's supposed to look. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> so when I built this, this the real aircraft, the nose goes up. You know, So I was like, okay, we got to have the nose. We'll just put it up. It mm -hmm. stays up. Um, it does have a little insert that you can put in there with the... Uh, with a ramp, so you can uh, sure, actually you load up your tanks or whatever it. else you're hauling around. I yep, suppose. absolutely. Um, right now, it has, it's configured with the landing gear down, so it has. Oh, it's like 32 wheels. Wow. On this, thing. Um, this is the way the real aircraft is. It does have replacement parts. You can pull all these wheels off, cover over that. It'll be like a nice smooth look on the bottom. Nice. Um, okay. So you do you do get all the wheels. Um, when you were steering it, weren't oh, you? Yeah, absolutely. It That's does, really it does. cool. <laughs> it's fully steerable. I mean, it, it rolls well mm -hmm. um, and is steerable because uh, that's how you know, the real the real deal. See what happens when you give Dan a little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> um, all of the flaps work. The the ailerons flaps they all they all they all work. Do what they're they're supposed to do. I don't know if you could. <clears throat> Maybe I hold it up and do this. It's it's quite a sturdy model. I should add. Yeah, um, a lot of bricks. Yeah, it's and it's held together with. Held together well. Mm -hmm. You can you can totally swoosh this without without worrying about. Use that. two hands, please. No. <laughs> if you have small hands, maybe two hands. But yeah, it's 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 totally durable. You can shake this thing up, and you're not going to lose any parts on it. Um, but yeah, it just uh, it has all, everything. Everything does what it's supposed to do, except mm -hmm. fly. It does not fly. So, but this is a limited edition. We're making fifty to start with. We might do a second batch. Um, a significant portion, I should mm -hmm. say, not all of the money that's going into these things is, is, is going to be donated, but a significant portion of this will be donated to Ukraine. We do have to like survive, Rick Mania, survive another day. So mm -hmm. uh, we are we are taking our costs back, but uh, otherwise, significant portion of this will be donated. Um, Which that actually brings me to our next point. So we have been paying attention to the social media and actually just the media rumblings a little bit in relation to the International Red Cross Committee, I believe is the officialness. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've, we've dug into it a little bit, but basically what we've decided is that we're going to reevaluate uh, where we're going to be sending these donations just to make sure that we're not going to find out after the fact that it wasn't actually doing as much good as we had hoped to be able to do. So if you've got some suggestions or if you know of good places uh, that, that are doing direct relief donations, go ahead and drop them in the comments. We've already had people come out and suggest them to us. I know the United Nations Children's Fund is one that has been kind of at the top of the list. But if you guys have some that you want to do some uh, suggestions for, please drop them in the comments because we are actively seeking uh, kind of a new avenue for those right now. That being said, 
our donations already made have cleared $40,000, which is nothing short of, of a very impressive endeavor. Um, I know it's a little bit different when you're involving bricks versus the minifigures when it comes to the portions of things, so people have had questions on that. But basically the way it works is that we source our parts, we source our, our uh, everything we need to be able to bring these models into production, and then anything left over that would be quote unquote profit, that is the margin that we are donating. And then we're also adding in, like you see on our website, for certain minifigures, we're adding an additional allotment on top of what Brickmania is donating. That is kind of like a donation directly from you guys that is passed on via that minifigure. So that's how the breakdown of all the Project Ukraine stuff works. Uh, we're trying to keep it all as above board as possible, but obviously we're also moving at 90 miles an hour a minute. So it's a little, it gets a little interesting at times. Right, right. So, and, and, and at first we, it, it took us a while to, to figure out what we were doing. Right, absolutely. <laughs> so the, the it, it's gaining momentum now. And uh, I mean, the, the, the rate of donations is, is, is like, it's, you know, it's going through the roof. Right? Mm -hmm. all, this, all the momentum we're getting. So we went from, you know, ten thousand to forty thousand in, in 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 a pretty quick succession. So yes, we, we've been averaging about ten thousand a week at this. Which point. is awesome. Um, and this this week will be no exception. I'm sure it'll actually be more. This being the biggest project we've ever done. Mm -hmm. So we we've been having you know everything you see here has been done as a benefit. Um, the minifigs are the hardest for us to keep in in, in, Correct. in in stock. We just did a big drop of the Ukrainian riflemen. Still Actually, some online. There's still some online, but there also aren't any more. We we expedited those. There aren't any more behind those. Right. So there's there's a little over a hundred right now as of this, but there aren't. If, if we do more, it's going to be over a, a month ways. out because uh, we do have the other figures you see. They are in production. They will come out in succession, one after another, mm -hmm. uh, as we get the parts. We still have to get these parts. We still have to source them. So we're waiting for stuff to show up. Once we get it, it takes us a time to, you know, a, a while to print. We can't just like push a button and bam, out comes 500 figures. They all right. have to be printed, assembled, uh, packaged, and, 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 and double checked to make sure for quality uh, before we can ship them out. So there will be more. Every figure, don't go on eBay, don't go oh, like- Oh, please it, don't, no kidding. <laughs> don't, 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 don't go to the scalpers. We will provide more of these. Um, it's just right now, your, your opportunity is to buy the rifleman. Um, if you don't get in on this batch, there will be more, but it's going to be a significant amount of time before, yes. before we have more of those. Uh, we can't completely shut down Brick Mania or the schedule. So we're doing a little bit as, as we can every week, but that's, there's just so much only so much room in our production capacity. Mm -hmm. And we're doing our best to keep you guys updated. Like I said, three or four of these videos ago, you know, all of this is happening in real time. So we're transferring this information to you guys pretty much as quickly as we're able to figure it out. So we don't necessarily have all the answers, but as you can see, what has become of it is pretty dang impressive. And we're really excited about as far as we've gotten so far. I mean, I think that the initial launch of, of this kind of MIG lineup and then seeing these things start to come into it, we knew we were into something a little bit bigger. And then now we've gotten this far and right. it's like, my goodness, this is absolutely groundbreaking. We are actually missing the Bay Rack there too. So. <laughs> oh yeah, the drone isn't here. <laughs> Good point. We were grabbing stuff around the office. Hey, what do we need? And that's one that we forgot. Poor Brandon's sitting there like, what the heck guys, my contribution. <laughs> Those are still online too. I think all of these are still have batches online. Right. Um, so we're, we're trying to make room in our production to keep those in stock as soon as people want them right. so we can get that money where it needs to go. Right, we're not, almost everything's gone into second, third or fourth batches at this point. I believe so, yes. Um, this one is just one. We only have one fifty coming out. Uh, all fifty will actually will go online. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not going to pull any reserve copies for stores. We want to get these out. If we sell all fifty, we we would consider doing a second batch. Mm -hmm. It's just that's going to be a huge amount of, you know, our our, our, print, our printing crew sees this thing and like, well, you know, that's that's a lot of printing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, it'll be cool though. It'll be worth it. Mm -hmm. so. Um, so this is this this is this is the drop for tomorrow Wednesday. Correct. Um, we do have another small lineup for next week as well, mm -hmm. um, and then after that we don't know if we're going to be able to continue this. Yeah. If we if we have more ideas, if people are interested, I hope they still are. This this war doesn't seem like it's going to end anytime soon. Even if the war did end, it's going to take years, if not decades. For the recovery, yeah. absolutely. Well, and I think that is one of the things too, where when we're setting this lineup, we're doing our absolute best to keep these in stock and just continue to push those pre-order dates out. This won't be an exception, although because of the size, like Dan was saying, and the printing capabilities, this will be one of those models that we're going to probably include a certificate with. We'll make sure they're all Definitely. nicely numbered. Uh, this will be kind of the, the next level of Brick Media model uh, that you'll want to get it on as well. And then obviously it, it's, it's going to benefit as well. It's over 2,000 pieces. Yes. So it's 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 a it's a great you know it's it's a huge set and it's not that big of a model like huge but mm -hmm. <laughs> it is you, what you can't see under the skin is a, it's it's really well built it's super durable um, it is hollow all the way down so you can store all your your micro brick battle tanks mm -hmm. inside of it if you really wanted to <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah this is a fun build but you know it, it's not going to be an everyday release for Brickmania it's yeah. it's up there with the B17 B B24 size. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, absolutely. It'll it'll get some special treatment, uh, and, and we'll also include the parking enforcement. In oh, case, right, I forgot about that. If there were any questions yes, regarding the, that, yes, yeah, so the, the green tractor. Mm -hmm. That's what you're really paying for. Really, the plane just comes free. I mean, that's what you're really trying to get your hands on. <laughs> the, the, the real hero of the, of the kit. Yeah, exactly. But yes, it is. It is going to come. With, it is a kid exclusive. Mm -hmm. You cannot. You cannot just. I mean. They yeah. can probably figure it out by looking at it on the camera, but that's okay. That's not in the spirit of what we're trying to do here, okay? <laughs> but yeah, there you go. And then we'll do a quick rundown of the minifig lineup, too. Right. I know we touched on them a little bit before. Um, remember, the only one that is currently online is uh, the, the, the Ukrainian rifle. Rifleman, right. which actually comes with a gun, which we don't have. On yes, the, the perfect caliber. But the render shows it with it. That's how you know. Frontline President, the Reaper, and St. Javelin Frontline, also pictured there. Reaper, St. Javelin. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some more... Figure mini kit combo. So Greg Nation designed the the little javelin, yeah. and thank you, Greg, by the way. And he also said he's 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 just been prolific in designing us more. So we do have a couple more little Greg Nation mini kits coming out. Very cool. Uh, there'll be a mini fig kit combo again. So stay tuned next week for those. Yeah, those will be fun as we continue to roll them out. We're still working on the artwork and everything, getting that stuff together. So stay tuned for more previews there. But this is the current lineup. Like I said, it will continue to grow. Um, hopefully we'll bring more of these back. I know that we're also in talks with actual St. Javelin, the, uh, the website would, that inspired that figure. Uh, so hopefully they'll be able to carry those in the near future here as well, or at least whenever that next batch rolls around, which it's is soon. a fun it's endeavor. It's coming soon. Coming yes. soon. It's 3D printed parts. They're mm -hmm. not, they're, it does it can't just, again, you can't just push a button and out they come. It's Although, to be totally honest, Amanda's so talented, it does seem like that sometimes because we're just <laughs> kind of like, what if we had a hood and halo and then <laughs> that afternoon yeah. we have a hood and halo. Well, so. these helm, that helmet's custom made, that mm -hmm. helmet's custom made. In fact, this one was custom made just for... Just for Zelensky, correct. Yeah, it's only the, the, the one and only mm -hmm. uh, fast helmet without the ear. Yeah. Uh, without the, 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 the radio... Uh, headphones. So like Dan said, all of them will be back. Please do not go onto the scalpers on eBay. That completely undermines the initiative of this project. And <laughs> right. quite frankly, it's shameful that people are doing it. But as long as you're not the one buying it, it doesn't matter. Um, so then real quick to end this, like I said, this one goes on pre-order tomorrow, but let's do a quick breakdown of what is still available on brickmania.com. So this is the 172nd scale uh, done by plain, or, uh, uh, excuse me, Nathan Cragen. Um, and so this brick, is Brick Squadron. Brick Squadron, thank right. you. A lot of Instagram handles to keep track of. <laughs> the 172nd scale is the actual kit. This guy. The 1120 is the instructions that are also included with that uh, kit. So no bricks for that one, but you do get instructions to build both. The other one, this is the uh, NK Customs, slightly smaller version. Uh, that is also available on this nice little stand. This one is an actual kit, once again, still online. Then, of course, we have Dan's large 135th scale. You'll notice we just got updated assets for this across the board on BrickMania.com, including the first artwork of the ghost himself. Uh, so make sure to go check that out because these assets look incredible. And I know we had a couple people asking, like, where's the printing? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, the printing's the, coming. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is, this, is, this is the final... This is the final uh, version of the model, but it doesn't right. have the printing on it. Neither do these mini kits. The mini mm -hmm. kits will come with printing as well. So um, everything you see, these are prototypes. Right. When, you know, this one's being made right now. I think they're almost to the point where they're going to be starting to print the parts for this. Mm -hmm. As soon as we get a printed version, we will we'll show it. We'll show it, yeah. Absolutely. But you can go see the renders. The renders have all the, the thing. My Instagram page or go to, the, you know, brickmania.com. Go yep. look at the, the image. We just updated the website yesterday. Yeah, it is, it is all up across the board. Um, same goes... For the T64 and the BTR4, both of these also still available on pre-order. They have their, uh, I believe at least one of them has, their, no, I think both of them should have their minifigures good to show off. Uh, this one comes with pretty much the rifleman, just not including the rifle. This one does well, include it's, it's Ukrainian actually, tanker. Yep, Ukrainian tanker. That's yeah, right, absolutely. for the T64. Yeah. Um, but both of these also available. So basically everything on my half minus a couple of the minifigures available right now on brickmania.com, just in case this is the first time you're seeing one of these videos. This bad boy dropping tomorrow on pre-order with the digital instructions. Right. Yeah. But no digital instructions this. No this, digital this instructions for that. This yeah. is a kid only. Good point. <laughs> but people know ebooks come out on Wednesday. Right, so right. That's, ebook, that's our normal, that. normal Wednesday release. Uh, oh, and then the other thing to note about that, uh, because of some of the stipulations on our website, if you're looking to get this pre-order, it is going to be under the donations category exclusively. So make sure to go ahead and, uh, and use that category to be able to pick this up. Otherwise, if you are signed up for our email, our newsletter, the link will just show up in your inbox and you will have no problem with it whatsoever. But if you're in the crew that likes to hover on the new releases page and just click refresh, uh, do that on the donations page this time around and you won't be disappointed. <laughs> 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 cool. Well, I think that will do it for another special edition of the Sit Rep. Unless you got some more you want to add? No, that's it. This, uh, thanks, thanks everyone for uh, making this successful and keeping it going. Yeah, we are we are very very proud of this community and still excited to see where it continues from here. Uh, we'll be back with another update on Friday. Thanks for watching.